Hi kids, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Mara Pistachio. I'm a drag fairy and the way I'm dressed today is like an Easter egg because it's a celebration for spring. I'm here with you today because I'm going to be reading two books. And the first one here is called Pride Puppy. It's going to be Pride in June, almost a month from now. That's really exciting. And this book here is by Robin Stevenson and Julie McLaughlin. Let's get started. So this book here goes through every letter of the alphabet. And with every letter, there's a story that goes along. So we're going to get started here. A for awake, animals, and all. Okay, so there's a cat and a dog and family. They were just waking up. B for breakfast and baby and ball. Everybody's having breakfast here. The cat's playing with the ball and a dog too. They're making rainbow pancakes. That's really fun. C for a car, our own Chevrolet. D for dog dressed up for the day. So their family here, they're going to go with the car. Their dog's waiting for them. Dogs are all dressed up. The family too. We'll see what they're going to be, where they're going to be going. E for everyone under the sun. F for feathers, for flags, and for fun. So they here they're at a pride parade. It's real fun. There's lots of different people. You got the pride flags. Here's the trans flag. The pan. This is the. I don't know which one. Oh, that's the non binary flag, right? I should know that. The bisexual flag. The intercept. There's the spirit flag right there. And there's someone here with vegetables. There's a queer farmer. And there's lots of people. G for grandma at our meeting spot. Look, there's a grandma. And the little child and the puppy. H for hats. And hungry and hot. See the pride parade here is in the summer, so it gets hot. People get hungry too. I for ice cream, sticky and sweet. J for joining the crowds on the street. Well, the dog here is eating the ice cream that fell. K for kindness and friends that we're keeping all for a leash and for loose and for leaping oh no the dog's trying to run away my dog did that too a few times when she was younger but now she's an old dog and she doesn't do that anymore i think she's learned her lesson m for missing we search high and low. Everyone's looking for the puppy now. And for nearly, and next time, and no, the puppy keeps getting away. Let's kind of hope that they find the puppy. O for oops. Our hopes are fading. Well, it's important to stay hopeful. Keep looking for that puppy. P for puppy, proudly parading. Oh, the puppy got into the pride bag. All the people. Q for 
Detroit Queen in a beautiful dress. See, there's Pink Draw Queen right there. She's really pretty looking. R for rainbows. And a really big mess. Oh no, they made a mess. S for school bus and students with signs. It says Pride Club. You matter, be you. Peers, queers, love is love. Proud together. Love no love knows no gender. It's really nice. T for teachers and toddlers in lines. And on this one it says two spirit. Right, there's, oh, there's another dog right there. There's a toucan, but no puppy. U for umbrellas with colors so bright. B for victory and holding on tight. Look, they found a puppy, yay! W for wags and white smiles all around. There's two drag queens here now. And my puppy found a friend. X for exhausted, sleep on the ground. I think it's time to go home now. Y for yawns as we drive away. Said for these at the end of the day. So I hope they got home and they're sleeping. The end. I really enjoyed that book. It's really pretty. It's got a lot of really pretty drawings and diversity and colors. I hope you enjoyed it too. We're going to take a small break now and do a little fun activity and then we're gonna go back to reading the second book. Are you ready to sing a song with me? This song here is called Skin and Merwink. Are you ready? Let's go. Skin and Merwinky Dinky Dink. Skin and Merwinky Do. I love you. Skin and Merwinky Dinky Dink. Skin and Mary Rinky do, I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening under the moon. Skin and Mary Rinky Dinky Dink. Skin and Mary Rinky do, I love you. Let's do it again. Skin and Mary Rinky Dink. Skin and Mary Rinky do, I love you. Skin and Mary Winky Dinky Dink. Skin and Mary Winky Do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin and Mary Winky Dinky Dink. Skin and Mary Winky Do. I love you. Are you ready for the second book now? We're going to be reading a book called Worm Loves Worm. This book is by J.J. Austrian and Mike Carato. Let's look at the back here. It says, you are cordially invited to celebrate the wedding of a worm and a worm. See, I really like this book. It's really nice, actually. Worm loves worm. Let's be married, says worm to worm. Yes, answers worm. Let's be married. Wait, says cricket. You'll need someone to marry you. That's how it's always been done. I'll marry you. Now can we be married? asks Worm. Wait, says the beetle. You've got to have a best beetle. 
naturally, that would be me. Now, can we be married? Asks Worm. Wait, 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 says the bees. You need bride's bees. Can we be the bride's bees, please? Please, please, please. Yes, says Worm. Now, can we be married? You'll need to get rings to wear on your fingers, says Cricket. That's how it's always been done. But we don't have fingers, says Worm. We can wear them like belts, says Worm. Wonderful, says Worm. Now can we be married? Just make sure to have a band so we can dance, says Beetle. But we don't have feet to dance with, says Worm. There's a little band here, little ants, sorry, the musicians. We can just wiggle around, says Worm, like this. Fun, says Worm. Now we can be married. But you still need a white dress, a tuxedo, a top hat, lots and lots of flowers, and a cake with frosting, says the bees. But we don't have heads for heads, said, says Worm, or hands for flowers. And we only eat dirt, says Worm. Wait, says Spider. I can attach the hat and flowers to you with my sticky web. Thank you, says Worm and Worm. But who will eat the cake? Asks the bees. I can eat the cake along with Cricket and Beetle, says Spider. What did you say? Asks Cricket and Beetle. Nothing, says Spider with a smile. Ooh, ooh, I think the spider wants to eat the insects here. I think the cricket's trying to protect the beetle. Now can we can be married, says Worm. I hope that they can finally get married. But which one of you is the bride? Asks the bees. How can we be bride's bees if we don't know who the bride is? I can be the bride, says Worm. I can too, says Worm. But one of you has got to be the broom. Or how can I be best beetle, asks Beetle. I can be the groom, says Worm. I can too, says Worm. We can be both. Amazing, says Spider. Really? asks Beetle and the Bees. I think that's a really fun idea. I really like that. Wait, says Cricket. That isn't how it's always been done. Then we'll just change how it's done, says Worm. Yes says Worm. We're almost at the end here. And so they were married. Because Worm loves Worm. The end. I really like that book. It's really nice and it has a really pretty message. That it doesn't matter who you love, you can love who you want and marry the person that you love. 